Hello and welcome to the Gaia update for the full moon in Taurus that's happening on Friday, November 3rd at 10.23 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. I'm Adrienne Elise. Well, we have a whole bunch of Scorpio energy with the sun having moved into Scorpio on October 23rd, joining with Mercury and Jupiter in there. And so a lot of this Scorpio energy, Ju Jupiter wants to expand whatever it comes into contact with. And so it's one thing just to have this intense energy, Jupiter moving into the depths of this Scorpio underworld, into underneath the mysteries and the secrets, and then having the sun and Jupiter having a recent conjunction and also Mercury in Scorpio. And so we're having a big, huge bloom of this energy. So it can feel a little bit like um, maybe a little creepy or a little kind of uncomfortable in some ways uh, to go into this underworld place. But the harmonious astrology of this full moon is giving us a massive opportunity to get really clear on the deeper subconscious stuff that has been affecting us throughout our life. You know, when we have these repeating patterns and the things just keep happening in our life over and over again, and we're not quite sure the origin. So we're delving into the deep here with all this Scorpio energy to be able to find this programming, this um, belief systems and pull it out by the roots. So this is really helped by the fact that Mercury in Scorpio has come up with recently a trine with Neptune and at the time of this full moon is trining Chiron in Pisces. Now Chiron is our wounded healer and Pisces is our connection to the whole but also our delusions and our fantasies or illusions and so and the collective energy. So Chiron here at coming to the end degrees of Pisces is about this un uncovering the hidden collective woundedness of our culture, our society, and but how we're all feeling it individually deep in our life right now. And so the reason that is happening is because Saturn is an exact square with Chiron. So Saturn is our work duty karma planet in the sign of Sagittarius seeking truth seeking spirituality, seeking and growing and learning. And so we're coming into who we really are as cosmic beings, especially with that Uranus coming to the end degrees of Aries in this identity revolution and a rebirth of what it means to be human in having a spiritual awareness of our true source. So, so in order to get to this place of this evolution that's trying to happen, we need to let go of the traumas and delusions um, that of our past, past lives, our ancestry, of our conditioning growing up, of our societal conditioning, family conditioning. And so these things have kept us kind of programmed and on a track in our life. And the new reality, the new world we're moving into, this new chapter, um, it's going to be completely different. So we have to let go of these constructs, but it can be really uncomfortable when how you thought your life should be and the, the things in your life that you have been maybe holding on to and trying to make work over the last four, five, six years are just kind of disintegrating. And um, it's an ego death. It's we're losing the sense of who we thought we were because it's not really who we are. Who we thought we were is associated with all of this conditioned programming. And the universe is saying, hey, wait, it's time. You're having a great support right now to wake up out of this. Now, Uranus is the awakener, really activated at this full moon. This full moon is so powerful. A lot of times there's aspects in the sky that are kind of um, close, you know, but there's a, a bunch of exact aspects happening during this full moon saying, hey, pay attention. This is a very potent time. And so we have a, that Saturn square Chiron coming into the understanding of the our collective woundedness and understanding that we can't move forward until we clean up this up and understand more. But we have, that is exact the last week of October, first week of November. And, but we can't quite, 
take that karmic leap until we get understanding of what's going on. And this is really helped by an exact trine between Mercury in Scorpio and Chiron in Pisces. Just a ton of water energy going on, which we haven't felt this year. This year's all been about fire and air. And now we're really feeling this water energy. So a lot of emotions, a lot of deep emotions and delving underneath and finding the truth of what's really going on. That's what Scorpio wants to do. It wants to go underneath the shadows and find the essence of the truth, the passionate existence, the, the reason for living, um, what you really care about, what you really desire in life. But we've got to get rid of this conditioning to be able to do it. But Mercury, the messengers, how we understand in our daily, everyday life and make sense of things. So with this harmonious trine with Chiron, it's saying uh, we can do this. We can understand, we can come to a deeper understanding about what's been affecting us that we couldn't access before to allow us to release these old stories and move into this new chapter. Because the old stories have to do, are something we've experienced, our ancestors have experienced, our earth evolution, our collective consciousness, our personal past lives, we've experienced these things. Um, but it doesn't mean that that's actually who we are, that's just an experience we had. So we're having this massive opportunity to step out of the identity that has kept us prisoned, this identity of collective in our in our conditioning in our collective consciousness and our personal experience through lifetimes that has kept us chained into this reality and and so we're being we're being having this opportunity but we're also kind of being real nudged into this new chapter as these big planets are changing signs so um, Saturn is getting ready to move into Capricorn in December. That's a huge energy moving into its home sign about building this new world. But we have got to really grow the Sagittarius energy, grow into the truth of who we really are, understand what's really been affecting us so we can just walk away from these old stories and say, yeah, that happened, I learned from it, but it's not who I am. And um, so who are you? This Taurus full moon is offering an opportunity to come in to this bigger connection, this compassion towards the self, this reincarnation experience, um, loving yourself, releasing the negative energies and come into some self-compassion and some self-love to help you through into this next chapter. As the things in our life that are no longer working are dissolving into dust, it can feel like we're losing a sense of who we are, but we're actually gaining a new sense of who we are. So a big part of the activation is gonna be about tapping into this new collective consciousness that's coming in as we release the painful stories of our past conscious, collective consciousness and reincarnate into our body in a new way with a new understanding of who we really are um, using this Taurus full moon energy. Uh, so the, the full moon happens when the sun and the moon are exactly opposite each other. So a huge energy around the Scorpio-Taurus axis. Now, Jupiter is there in Scorpio, directly opposite Pallas Athene, an asteroid. An asteroid goddess having to do with diplomacy and finding solutions and understanding uh, ways to work without violence. So this is really potent. It's just so what our world needs right now, what we individually need right now. The conflict, we have conflict everywhere in our world, but the conflict we have control over and we're having an opportunity to release has to do with the conflict within our being. And this Taurus energy wants to take care of the self, wants to honor the self, wants to nurture the self. And so it's an opportunity to have active compassion towards our being, towards our self, towards this bigger understanding of who we really are. And this is helped along right now by Mars, our action planet, our male planet, our warrior, being in the sign of Libra with Venus. So Venus, our female planet, and Mars, our male planet, in the same sign. Venus loves being in, in Libra. It's a ruler of Libra. And so it, Venus, it celebrates beauty and peace and harmony. And then to have our action planet, our male planet, a warrior there 
in this sign of Libra is saying that there are peaceful solutions where we can see both sides. We can see underneath. We can have forgiveness for ourselves. Go into the shadow and get rid of all of the shame get, and come back to neutrality around who we are. We're all carrying it's like a definition of being human up to this point in this level of shame around our past has been programmed into our reality the shame of our ancestors and this is all being rewritten right now as uranus comes to those end degrees of of aries moving into taurus so we're having kind of a a foreshadowing energy of what the next period of time of uranus in taurus is going to be about with this taurus full moon because Uranus moves into Taurus uh, in May of 2018. And this is going, so we're completing this Uranus and Aries, this rebirth of the self, this, this re-identification of who we really are. And that is as cosmic beings in a physical body, having experiences, but not being defined by these experiences, being more defined by the truth of who you really are. Finding that self-compassion, that self-forgiveness to release those old stories of trauma of the past to be able to move in to that new chapter. So I hope you can join me for the live activation where we will work with these concepts and have this kind of reincarnation opportunity to come in and prepare energetically and spiritually, releasing the old stories and our identification with the old stories in the past age in order to open these doors. The universe is giving us so much support right now to open these doors and move into that next chapter with Mercury trining up, with just had trining up with, had just has just trined up with Neptune and for this full moon, an exact trine with Chiron saying, we can come to understanding, we can forgive ourselves, we can forgive our enemies because guess what, over lifetimes, we've played both roles. And now it's time to just get out of this conflict paradigm and move into self-love, loving the earth, taking care of ourselves, taking care of each other. And um, this is kind of these doors opening to the future ahead. So not only do we have that harmonious trine with Mercury and Neptune just happened in Chiron exact at this full moon, but the sun is exactly trying up with Neptune. Coming, We are coming out of the delusions of our past. The sun trining with Neptune is saying there's harmonious ways to find out the truth and come to more of a reality situation and get out of delusion and fantasy and addiction to the negativity and the conflict of this world. And um, the awakening energy is really, really potent um, with Venus opposing an exact opposition again with Uranus. Now we've had all these planets making these this shift through uh, this this whole year defined by that Jupiter opposing Uranus. And Uranus Uranus is the awakener, the ruler of Aquarius. It's like lightning fast change. So Venus is our value system, what we really care about. So the fundamental shift and change and awakening that's happening around this full moon, this opportunity, is to come into a new value system. With the moon in Taurus there with Pallas Athene, we're having a better opportunity. It's giving us an opportunity to awaken to the power of self-care and self-love and releasing the negative stories that have been defining us. And so we're awakening into a new value system that is reflective of our new identity that we aren't our, we aren't defined by our painful stories and the collective BS of the past. We are defined by the fact that we are source energy in a beautiful fractal um, experience as an individual of a bigger personality. And so um, huge revelations available right now, understanding where the collective consciousness, where we've been chained in the beliefs of the collective consciousness, where the, our past has defined us. Uh, we haven't had a lot of water energy this year. It's all been fire and air. Now we're delving in to the depths of these deeper emotions. And so it's like a tidal wave, but these things are coming up from the past 
blooming in this big wave to allow you to surrender and release and move in to this new chapter. It really is time and the universe is behind you in a bunch of support um, uh, for coming out of conflict with that Mars and Venus in Libra and the moon conjuncting Pallas Athene in Taurus, loving ourselves, loving our earth, loving our body, um, being compassionate and caring with ourselves, coming out of the conflict within as a way to heal the conflict on the planet. And so this beautiful opportunity, I hope you can join me for the live activation to tap into these energies. That's going to happen on Thursday, November 2nd at 1 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and you can find out how to sign up for that below. If you can't make the live activation, go ahead and sign up. You can get instant access to the replay, and by your intention to be involved in the activation, that allows the channeled messages to come through just in the way that you need to hear them. And that guided meditation to help you you with your clearings and the work that you need to do and also consider an individual session with me we can go in and find the roots help you find use this time to find the information you need to understand and let go of the past and be ready to move into that new future and step on that path this is really potent right now because Saturn at squaring Chiron we talked about that being exact and Saturn is heading back towards the galactic center after this retrograde it went over the galactic center back over it in the retrograde after coming out of retrograde this summer now it's moving in its final pass over the galactic center uh, 27 degrees Sagittarius before it moves into its home sign of Capricorn so the galactic center is about our destiny folks it's about the wormhole it's about moving in to this great magnet energy this deep desire energy and this is so being so much activated with these three planets in Scorpio right now getting down to our deep desires our desire to really live our desire to live the truth of who we are instead of this old stories and <laughs> stepping into this new chapter and so uh, this activation and this personal session with me great ways to feel to step on that path and make take uh, take advantage of this incredible opportunity the universe is giving us right now to delve into the deep understand the truth release those stories re-identify with the truth of who we are as source and start to care for ourselves as if that were true care for ourselves in the way that we as cosmic beings deserve to be treated instead of that conflict within uh, that has been programmed in our reality so powerful emotions big stuff coming up but it's because you can get to a deeper understanding than you ever thought possible a deeper connection to your truth and more of a feeling of like yes I'm here to live I'm here to thrive I'm here to be on my path and I'm here to be a true human in this uh, as a cosmic being in this this uh, this experience of becoming conscious of it of ourselves as a cosmic being just a profound experience on planet earth so I wish you the best I can't wait to connect with you on the live activation and so until next time I'm Adrian Elise namaste